Hello guys, my name is Mo King and you're welcome back to another of my Adobe Premiere Pro Masterclass. Today I'm going to be showing you how to animate colors in Adobe Premiere Pro. So over here I have a video that I've imported into my timeline. A simple video of a lady dancing or moving her body. Alright guys, so, so in my previous tutorial I taught how to change the color of objects in videos. So in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to animate the colors over time so the first thing to do is to select your clip over here and select your color tab and on your color tab over here scroll to your hsl secondary and under your hsl secondary you want to make sure that you have selected your key icon here so that all these icons can pop out now you want to select your pen picker here and select the color you want to animate so in this case i'm trying to animate the color of this shirt over here so once you have selected that, the next thing you want to do is to check your color gray box over here. And what you will want is to select the entire color of the shirt and the entire background will remain gray color. So to select the other portions that is not properly popping out, you will select the pen icon over here once more and continue to select until you've gotten every proper portion of the shirt. So I'm just going to continue to add this a couple of times till I'm satisfied with the result. All right, guys, it looks like we've completely selected the shirt. So the next thing you're going to want to do is to deselect this color gray box over here. You move down. And we can now move to our blur property here and increase our blur so that it can actually have a smooth color change. And we can come over here and increase this luminance over here. So if you want to get more information about the HSL secondary over here, I really went in depth in my last tutorial. So you want to click on the last tutorial. I'll also drop the links in the cards above. So now that I have done that and I've also increased the luminance over here, I'm going to select this color wheel over here. And over here, I can begin to change the color. So if I take this here, okay, I think this is what the first color looks like. So let me take it to something else. Take it around to pink. So I've taken this to pink now. At this point, you can come over here and increase the temperature, increase the tint, and then it's going to change. If I increase the temperature, you can see the temperature changing. If I increase the tint, you can see all of that changing if i increase the contrast reduce the contrast the saturation you understand you can actually do all of that so now that i've created this let me take this down and bring this back up the next thing i'm going to do is to select my alt key and drag this up to duplicate this clip so on the clip beneath I'm going to go over to my effects control tab over here and off the Lumetri color that I have added to this clip. So if I should off this clip above, you will see the initial color. If I on the clip beneath, you can see the new color. Another thing you will notice is that the changes doesn't affect the background. It only affects the shirt. It doesn't even affect the face of the model over here. So I've deselected that. I'm going to make a few more copies to this clip over here. All right, guys, so at this point, I think I've created up to one, two, three, four, five, six, six different clips now. Now, it depends on the timing you want to animate the color to. If you have a beat, you want to change it to the beat. But in this case, I don't have a beat, so I'm just going to change it at regular intervals. So I'm going to hit on Shift and the forward arrow, three, two, three, four, five times. And then what I'm going to do is to move this clip beneath to that new arrow. I'm going to select my shift arrow one more time and select one, two, three, four, five to move five frames again. Then I'm going to move the next one again to that portion. Select the next clip above, hit my shift arrow and hit one, two, three, four, five. This is actually just to give it a regular interval. So I'm going to select the next clip and then hit on my shift and hit one, two, three, four, five one more time. And then I'm going to move this also. Select the clip above and then move one, two, three, four, five. And then I'm going to move this also. 
So at the clip above here, I can now move by 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Move this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Move this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Move this and three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then we have our last clip over here. So if I select this clip above here, it has a different color from the clip beneath. So I'm just going to move to the other clip on this layer here and move back to my color wheel over here and change the color. So this is giving me green. Um, I'm not sure I want green. So this is giving me red. So with this, I can increase the temperature and make it, okay, this color. Then I can as well move to the next clip over here. Select this, hit on my color wheel. Okay, there we have another color. So I'm just going to select the next one over here and change it to let me touch this red i haven't really touched this red red i can increase the saturation of the red to make it really red next above we have our last color so i can mess with all right guys so we have six different videos over here so if I take this from the beginning right here and I hit on play, let me scale this so you can see it properly. If I hit on play at this portion, you can begin to see how the colors animate by itself. The next thing you're going to want to do to organize your clips and turn it into one clip, of course, is to next your clip. So I'm just going to select all this clip, right click, and then I'm going to hit on next. next you will probably want to give it a name lady i would suggest you give it a name that you can always remember and that is it exactly i've succeeded in turning it into one single clip and that's it guys on how to quickly animate colors in adobe premiere pro i hope you found this tutorial very useful if you did kindly subscribe to my youtube channel and don't forget to hit the thumbs up button thank you very much guys